How do you love yourself? First of all, you breathe in <laughs> mindfully, and you become aware that you have a body. Breathing in, I know I have a body. Your body is uh, a very important part of yourself. You spend two hours with your computer. You are stressful. And you don't know how to stop. And you forget completely that you have a body during these two hours. You are looking for something in the future, in your work, why your body suffers. <coughs> so the first uh, act of love is to breathe in and to go home to your body. Breathing in, I know I have a body. Hello, body. I'm home. I take care of you. Mm-hmm. So to be aware of body is to the beginning of love. And when mind is home to, to body, mind and body are established in the here and the now. <coughs> and you might notice two things. With the practice of mindful breathing, the first thing you notice is that your body is a wonder. You have to rediscover that your body is a wonder. Biologists, others have been trying to understand <coughs> the body. That is a masterpiece of uh, the cosmos. Your body is a wonder. Your body is the seat of consciousness, of the consciousness of the cosmos. And you don't know the value of your body. Your body, your body contains all information of the history of the cosmos. In every cell of your body, you can recognize the presence of your ancestors. Not only human ancestors, but animal, vegetal, and mineral ancestors. And all your ancestors are still alive in your body with their weakness and with their strength. You may have taken your body for granted, but it is a wonder. Your brain, the neocortex, is a very, uh, very uh, sophisticated uh, kind of organization. The cosmos have come together in order to produce this wonder, which is your body. And if you can get in touch with your body, you can get in touch with the whole cosmos, with all your ancestors, and also with all the future generations that are already inside of your body to manifest later. Do you have the capacity to appreciate that wonder that is your body? 
Mother Earth is in you, not under, underneath or above or around you, but in you also. And Father Son is also in you. You are made of sunshine. You are made of fresh air, of fresh water. And to be aware of that wonder and to value that wonder can already bring you a lot of happiness. Breathing in, I know I have a body. And you can enjoy having that body. And you can get in touch with the history of life. You can get in touch with your ancestors. And your body it contains all information concerning the cosmos. And that kind of awareness can be healing, can be nourishing. The second thing that happens when you go back to your body is is that there is there may be tension and pain in your body because you have uh, allowed tension uh, and pain to be accumulated in your body for a long time. You have not loved your body for a long time. You have made your body suffer. So mindful breathing allows you to be aware of that. And suddenly you want your body to suffer less. And that is why you breathe out in such a way that you can release the tension in your body. And that is an act of love directed to your body. And this exercise of mindful breathing, mindful breathing is available in the Sutra uh, Anapanasati. So breathing in, I'm aware of my body. Breathing out, I release the tension in my body. That is an act of love directed to your body. It's very concrete because the question is, how do I love myself? To love yourself is to recognize your body and to release the tension in your body. And then when you breathe in and out, you might you might you bring your mind home to your body and you recognize the many uh, refreshing and healing elements available. So you can re- generate a feeling of joy, a feeling of happiness to nourish yourself. That is an act of love. For a person practicing mindfulness, it is not difficult to generate a feeling of joy or a feeling of happiness based on the fact that you you are surrounded by many refreshing and healing elements. You are you have so many conditions of happiness available in the present moment. So there is no problem generating a feeling of joy, a feeling of happiness by the way of mindful breathing. And that is exactly how to love, to love yourself, to allow yourself to be nourished by feelings of joy, feelings of happiness. (coughs) And then when you practice mindful breathing, you might be aware that there is a painful feeling, a painful emotion arising. And you know that uh, there are exercises of mindful breathing that can help you to embrace, recognize, embrace your pain, your sorrow, and help you to suffer less. One, two, or three minutes of mindful breathing, embracing your pain and sorrow, 
can help you to suffer less. That is an act of love. To love oneself is possible with the practice of mindful breathing, of mindful walking. When you recognize the suffering in yourself, you can calm it down and you can go further. Why embracing your suffering, listening to it, looking deeply into its nature, you might discover the roots of that suffering, the kind of perceptions that have given birth to that kind of suffering. And you begin to understand your suffering. And you find out that your suffering carries within itself the suffering of your father, of your mother, of your ancestors. Understanding your suffering, you understand the suffering of your father, mother, ancestors. And understanding suffering always brings, always brings uh, compassion that has the power to heal and you suffer less. That is uh, also an act of love. And when you suffer less, you can help uh, the other person, your son, your daughter, your father, your mother, your partner, to suffer less also. If you understand his or her suffering, you can, uh, you, you don't suffer more anymore and you are motivated by the energy of compassion in you to do something to help the other person to suffer less. And when the other person suffers less, you suffer less, and you have more joy. That is uh, the way to, to love yourself. And uh, you will not be able to love someone else if you don't know how to love yourself. And that is the teaching of the Buddha. And to love yourself is very concrete. With one in-breath and release in the tension in your body. You take care of your body, you take care of your feelings and emotions. 